how to fix Chromecast cannot connect to Wi-Fi. So what happens is that sometimes whenever you try to set up your Chromecast device from the initial beginning, it doesn't really connect to Wi-Fi. Now there are a couple of checks which we are going to run in order to actually get our Wi-Fi running again. The very first thing you want to do is instead of actually trying to find the errors in the Chromecast device, you want to simply make sure that your Wi-Fi is actually working just fine on your mobile as well. So simply open your smartphone or any other device over here. You can see in my case, the Wi-Fi is working correctly fine. It says connected. If in your case, it says connected without internet, then that could simply mean that your Wi-Fi is not working at all so you want to be aware of that check it and then let's move on to the second solution if this isn't the issue the other thing you could also do is you have to make sure that you are connected to the same Wi-Fi on both of your Chromecast device as well as your mobile and after that you also want to make sure that you are logged into the same Google account on both of these devices even if after doing all of this your Wi-Fi is not being able to connect and you are sure that your Wi-Fi is working just fine we're going to learn how we can actually factory data reset our Chromecast so you could actually do this from the app but since we are not being able to get our app connected to the Chromecast or that Chromecast is not being connected to the Wi-Fi we are going to learn how we can perform a hard reset using the button on our Chromecast device. So let me just go ahead and show you by turning over my TV first of all. So as in my case, you can see that my Chromecast device is connected properly onto the both ends of my TV, the USB port as well as the HDMI port. In order to actually factory data reset or hard reset it, you simply have to press this button which you see on your Chromecast device. You can see right over here, but the thing you will also want to remember is that you do not want to remove either of these cables while you're trying to press and hold it. If you remove this, your Chromecast is not going to be reset it, so make sure that the cables are connected. And I'm going to simply press and hold until we see the factory data reset screen onto our TV display. So let's wait until this actually takes place. As soon as you do that, your Chromecast device is actually going to be reset from the very beginning and from the initial point. This time what we have to do is while we're trying to connect to a Wi-Fi, we have to make sure to actually enter the correct password and so on. So let's wait until the process has actually been completed. You can see that our Chromecast is factory resetting itself. So we have to be patient and simply wait until the setup process is actually complete. So now you can see it basically says us to get the app. All you have to do is simply open up your smartphone right over here. And then we're going to tap on set up Chromecast and we will simply go ahead and fill in all of the details accordingly. It is going to look for devices. You might also want to verify the code later on. You can see it says Chromecast found, so I'm going to tap on the yes button and it's going to take some time to connect. It will also ask me to verify that the code displayed on a TV screen as well as the code displayed on your mobile device are typically the same. If it is same, confirm it and go ahead and tap on the yes button. You can do this and again you could go ahead and select where this device is and then tap on next and this is exactly where this time we want to enter our Wi-Fi password. You can see the above Wi-Fi right over here so I'm going to tap on next and then I'm going to simply enter the password on this page. And now you can see that it says connecting to Wi-Fi. And this is how you can fix if your Chromecast says cannot connect to Wi-Fi. We hope one of the solutions may have worked for you. If it did help you in either way, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you have any more questions, queries or doubts, simply make sure to leave them down in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in our next video.